Welcome to Arman Animation. I'm Arman. In this video, we will animate snow and lightning. Subscribe to vote for the next video topic. Great, let's start from snow. We could work with chroma key footage as we did previously with rain. But this time we will animate snow particles separately. So you can see another approach. We will start by drawing a few snow particles. And let's download suitable background to see how snow blends with the environment. Now open spine, drag the background and disable select option to not move it accidentally. Next, drag those particles into the scene and arrange them randomly by modifying scale and alpha. Next, let's create a parent container, add new bonds for each particles. and move those bones into a newly created parent container. Next, we need to disable scale and rotation inheritance for particle bones. This will make sure scale and rotation won't be affected by parent bone. Now let's animate the parent bone and see what we get. Let's move it down in 300 frames. and select all slots to show them and hide them gradually when it starts and when it ends I'm copying the frames using Ctrl and Shift on keyboard great now let's separate X and Y axis and move left and right while moving down. I'm moving last frames, one frame behind, so I can copy uh, first frame at uh, 300 frames. This way we can maintain the loop. So when we offset it, it offsets it nicely. We can break the frame interpolation here. Great, let's uh, soften the curves and see what we get. Now let's work with the scale. Um, I will also separate this scale x and uh, y axis and make them bigger. Again, on 299 frames, let's make things bigger. Let's copy and break the interpolation. Maybe I will change the interpolation for uh, axis different. So they move a little bit differently. Great. Let's also implement the shearing. Note that I'm still working with one bone. I'm also going to separate shearing X and Y axis to give it another layer of randomness. I didn't copy shearing on 299 because it was a loop already. So now I have to separate axis and maybe offset uh, one of it 
and let's see what we get. Maybe we can cut one cycle. It moves too much. Yeah, I like it now. So next what we have to do, I think we just need to duplicate this bone and see how we can make it random even more. For that, let's duplicate this bone two times and spread it left and right. I would like to flip in the middle Um, and see what we have. It, it falls nicely. Now we need to make it fall continuously. For that we need to add all these three bones inside one new container. Let's move this bone up. Maybe we would like to animate it also. Most probably I will. Great, and see. Cool, now we need to duplicate this bone. Let's do it um, four times, I think it will be enough. It, it really depends on how much you want to spend on bones. Initially, I would not do this in Spine. This is definitely should be done in Game Engine, but as you have voted for this effect, I'm doing it. So, my, su my suggestion, advice would be not to do it in Spine, but if you are doing it, maybe you want to export a video and don't care about bone count. So this is how you do it. Great, we have a duplicate. Now we need to offset them. Let me, let me hide them by using right click. So I will make sure that only second container is visible. Now, I will offset them like this. Oh, I need one more duplicate. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I can see continuous flow. Um, I will try also animate the top bones to give some variety. I think that would be this animation or maybe this. So this gives some kind of 3D effect. Let's do that now. I'm copying it and passing it to another containers. And yeah, let's smoothen the curves and offset them. I'm doing totally random stuff. This video is already takes too long. So I will skip the lightning portion and make another video for it. So keep tuned and subscribe if you want to not miss it. Thank you. Bye guys.